All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another vintage... God, I always get it wrong. Legacy Cube Draft here on Magic Online. What's the correct pick here? Actually, Cold Steel Heart is probably one of the stronger cards in this pack, comically enough. There's no fixing in this pack. I like miscalculation as well. We got a player on that. Yeah, like we talked about doing mono black right before, um, right before this this draft started. But uh, unfortunately, this is not the pack for mono black. This is not the pack for mono black. Um, I'll take cold steel heart. Cold steel heart fixes any color, which is nice. If you need a black, it's a black. If you need a red, it's a red. You got to decide first. Mike, what's going on, buddy? Uh, we can still keep on that mono black train. Ancient Tomb's pretty good. I actually gained a newfound respect for Ancient Tomb after uh, one of my more recent drafts. You might be, uh, you might have seen it. I think Ancient Tomb is very strong. Probably better than the other cards in this pack, I think. It also keeps us open, just like Cold Steel Heart. I like Glacial Fortress too, but I'm kind of meh. I'm kind of meh on Glacial Fortress. It's uh, it's kind of boring. Let's take Ancient Tomb. Also, if you guys are looking for ways to support the stream, feel free to hit those follow and subscribe buttons. Both of those things are immensely helpful to me. And uh, you get uh, cool emotes. You get, you get to hang out with me five days a week. I am up late. Kiora the Crashing Wave. That's a turn two Kiora. We can also play both of these on the same turn. You can go turn one Ancient Tomb into Cold Steel Heart. That's pretty good, right? Otherwise, this pack is not exciting. I like Riftwing Cloud Skate. I think it's just, I kind of just want to take the Kiora. Man, look at. Look at Wizards making a card called Lyra Dawnbringer as opposed to Hearthstone. I would live the Brazella Dream, but I'm pretty sure she'll she'll turn around. I want to take this. I want to take this Kiora. I think it might just be Riftwing Cloudscape, but I didn't really want to be blue again. I'm going to take the Riftwing Cloudscape. Tooth and Nail and Nickel Bolas. Boy. I'm pretty sure it's just Slush No Colonnade here. However, I have no interest in being Blue White Chions again. Oh, God. I just want to take this Bolas, dude. Oh, I don't want to be Blue White Chions. I am constantly Blue White Chions. Necromancy is good, actually. I like Necromancy more than I like Colonnade. And I also like Blue Black more than I like Blue White. And I bet you this Nicol Bolas comes back. I bet he doesn't, but I bet he does. I like a Tamio. I like a Hot Tomato. I'm going to take a Tamio here. It's either a Tamio, as, as far as our colors go currently, it's either Tamio, Icefall Region, or Disfigure, and that's not, that ain't no place to be. Creeper. I like a Creeper a lot. I like Phantasmomage even more than Creeper, but I think Creeper is the better card. So uh, that's that. Verdant Catacombs is pretty good here. I think I actually like Hero's Downfall. I think Hero's Downfall is pretty underrated, and uh, it takes care of a lot of problematic cards. So I'm actually going to take Hero's Downfall here.
I think thirst is fine, but I like to have more artifacts when I have thirst, when I pick a thirst, when I get thirsty. Elder Deep Fiend, Rune Scarred Demon. I think it's just Demon here. We can get the Demon in the graveyard, pop a Necromancy. It does, it deals with creatures and also Planeswalkers, believe it or not. I'm constantly unimpressed with Serendipity Freet. Oh, he's like Rune Scarred because we have a Necromancy, right? I agree. It is time for Serendip to leave the cube. I'm going to take the Mutavolt. Whatever. Mutavolt's a, a win condition. Collective Brutality. That's a great way to discard a card. I'm down. I would like to take this Glacial Fortress, but I'm not going to take it over a... Uh, premier removal spell that lets us discard a card for necromancy on turn two daniel what's going on buddy i'm sure this is pretty early for you actually oh i don't know if you heard that Tetsuo, I completely agree with you. Tetsuo! I completely agree with you. There are definitely cards, and I even... There's there's cards that I even gave a, ch a chance to, where I'm like, I'll try this card out, see how it is. And every time, I'm like, oh, it's not good. There's also cards that have the like, exact same functional reprints of themselves in the cube. I told you. I told you guys. Every time. All right, now we got a deck here. Now we got a deck, boys. Wow. Kiora? Nicobolas? I think Trigon Predator is great. If we get more fixing, I think it, it just depends. Like, we're either going to go Grixis or we're going to go Sultai, and it just depends on the cards we get, like the fixing we get. Why are you gemming things near your blue-black deck? Because that's because the blue-black deck wants to be free. There was a sweat and then the epic. You are 100% correct. There's 47, 44 quotes. That is crazy. Um, Mike, I definitely considered it, but I, there's no, there's no reality where I'm going to play Cathartic Reunion in my deck. There is a reality where I'll play Coalition Relic in my deck, though. If you know what I mean. I also like Big Choops, but this card is just better, right? Double black, double blue, double blue, green, red. It lets us play everything we want to play. If we're not, if we're not playing these cards and we're just sticking to blue black, it's either Chupacabra it could be probably Recurring Nightmare, but I actually worry about the Recurring Nightmare decks because I feel like this cube does not have as many creatures in it for, like, the blue-black decks. Like, I think Recurring Nightmare is more of a, a green, a green-black card. Because then you end up having, like, seven creatures in your deck, and Recurring Nightmare just feels bad because you're sacrificing good creatures for other good creatures. And it just doesn't really make a lot of sense. Nightmare is probably not wheeling, but... Actually, two people sit at my table? Wow. This pack is actually gas. Like, I like Emrakul here. I like Marsh. I like Sylvan Library. I mean, we're probably just taking the Marsh, right? Packrat is a discard outlet, but I'm not too concerned with it right now. Also, Necromancy targets their creatures as well. So, I don't think we're a reanimator deck. I'd rather just have the Blooming Marsh so we can play more cards. I mentioned Library. I'd just rather take a Fixing Land than uh, Drown Catacombs. Oh, but Cryptic Command. Cryptic Command, why do you do this? I gotta take the Catacomb here. I can't be greedy with the, with the Cryptic Command, unfortunately.
Sean John Control? What are you talking about, man? I don't know what that is. No idea. That's a uh, that's a strange name for a thing. I wonder if we can just splash Nicol Bolas off Cold Steel Heart and Coalition Relic while we play Sultai. Chandron is Chandra Control. That was that is correct. It is it is a it is a red black deck uh, with Chandras in it. It was a it was just a joke, a little joke deck. Oh, the deck list on the overlay. I gotcha. I gotcha. I like Go for the Throat a lot. I think it's actually very, very good. There's a lot of cards like this. You just want cards that kill things like Inferno Titan, Grave Titan, Consecrated Sphinx. You just want these cheap removal spells in this cube, and I, I feel like this is great. If I didn't take that, I'd probably take Sword, but I'm going to be happy with this stupid Go for the Throat. Oh, I like Sword a lot. Oh, I like Mole Drifter a lot, too. I'm going to let you guys decide this pick. I don't even hate Dragon Skull Summit, but... Tetsuo, you are right. Every single time, buddy. Every single time. Oh, God. Dubs Muldrifters. I think it's just Muldrifter. Four moles? Five? Six? Okay, Muldrifter it is. Deal. Also, Coalition Relic right into Muldrifter. Botanical Sanctum. I'll take the Botanical Sanctum. Rampaging Balos is another card that I'm constantly impressed with. Every time I play it, I'm like, well, you can't win now. Kaneda! Come and get me, Kaneda! Man, I haven't seen Akira in so long. Um, I don't think it's just wrong to have taken the, the Rampage of Bailas over the land, but the fact is it's double green, and right now it looks like we're splashing green. So I want to minimize the green and not maximize it oh we're 100% playing Kiora I just want to make Krakens I just want to unleash the Krakens Lumbering Falls. Look at these lands. These lands just keep on coming. I like Tassiger, but I, we're not a deck that's going to have a full graveyard. I think it's just Lumbering Falls. Yeah, so real talk, Akira, Akira is actually a very confusing movie. Um, that is not incorrect. Actually, maybe we're like... Whisperwood and Dissipate? Oh, maybe it's actually just Desecration Demon. I like Demon a lot here, actually. It fits better on our curve, I think. Also, these fixing lands are pretty nice. We can also play a turn three demon. Oh, if we go Ancient Tomb into Cold Steel Heart, we can play a turn three demon, a turn two demon. Woo! Suspasser, thank you so much, man. I'm glad. I'm glad it's helpful. This was not my intent, though. I actually just did a standard. Uh, I did a standard league before this, and so now I'm just like, oh, we'll just play it through and do a do a cube draft as well. So I'm just up later than normal today. Oh, seeing abyssal persecutor and taking it. Oh god, you guys want me to have demon and persecutor? Just all the four four mana. That's another thing. See, like. I don't feel like you need multiple four four mana six six flyers, right? Like, they they fill the same role, right? They're six they're six six flyers for four mana with a drawback. Why do you need two in the same cube? I'm gonna take Chupa, big Chups. Also, putting this guy in the graveyard is great because uh, 
We can just get him back with necromancy. But also, this guy does things like kills Grave Titans, right? It kills artifacts and it kills creatures or kills black creatures. So it's just perfect. Uh, what I played in standard, the the deck is in the overlay. It was uh, we called it Sean John Control, which is actually Chandra Control, which is like a red black standard deck. I almost like Persecutor more than I like Demon, just because Persecutor uh, forces you to be a little more creative with it. I guess we'll take Exhum. I like Part the Waterville a lot, though, especially with Ancient Tomb and Ramping. I think we're more of a Part the Waterville deck than an Exhum deck, especially with Planeswalkers. We have multiple Planeswalkers already. I want to take Part. We're not an Exhum deck by any means right now. We have Runescar Demon as our only creature to, to Exhum, to be Exhuming. I don't actually hate Kiora's follower here. Is that weird? Also, there's Ravages of War and Armageddon, which is weird. Like, well, there's like so many cards that that are just functional reprints of other cards that are also in the cube. It's very strange. Like having two Nicol Bolas in the cube is weird. I don't know. I'll take Thassa. None of these cards are good for us. A red card, a white card, and a land. I'll just take the Rashad and Port. Cards you should absolutely avoid in the cube. It's a good question. I do like actually going at a counter. At a counter, remove both charge counters for two mana. That's pretty good. Brian, I have no idea if I'm going to open a box of Masters. That is... Uh, look, weren't we just talking about Last Pick of Johnny? <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Someone in chat was like, yeah, you always get these Last Pick of Johnnies that no one wants. All right, all right. What are we looking at? Misty Rainforest. That's probably what we're taking. Uh, Mana War, Counterspell, Advocate. And even Kalidus are all cards I wouldn't mind. Tetsuo. Comical, right? There it is. There he is. The, the cat man of your dreams. It's 100% Misty Rainforest here. Hopefully we'll get a dual land, but even if we're just getting blue or green, it's pretty good. Doomblade. Dies to Doomblade. We also have Force of Will here. Force of Will, very good. How many how many cards are we putting in the sideboard here? So we need five cards here. It's either Doomblade or Force of Will. We don't have any counter spells though. We have a lot of blue cards that we can just throw away. We do have a lot of removal though. We have Heroes Downfall, Go for the Third, and Chupacabra so far. I think it's just Force of Will here. Thrag Tusk. Also Dismiss. Ooh, I like Dismiss a lot. It's like the easier to cast. Uh, well, so with Nicol Bolas, we're not going to play him, or we're going to splash him off Coalition Relic and Cold Steel Heart. We can also pick up a Red Land somewhere along the line. Also, 10 mana Ulamog. Meh. I kind of like just like Dismiss here. I don't like Black Cleave Cliffs all, at all. Like, we already have uh, Botanical Sanctum and Blooming Marsh that are going to come in, and, and Lumbering Falls that are going to, and Creeping Tar Pit that are going to come into play tapped later in the game. So I kind of want to limit the amount of lands that come into play tapped in the late game. I like Thrag Tusk. 
I do like him to Torox. Double black seems like it's pretty difficult though, especially when we have Ancient Tomb in our in our in our deck. I kind of just want the dismiss, to be honest with you guys. I think it's just dismiss here. Huh. God, I really want the overgrown tomb because of Misty Rainforest, but. I am hard pressed to pass the Ashiok. God, we have so much fixing. We need three more playables, too. I think it's just Ashiok. Ashiok is so good, dude. I gotta go with Ashiok. I can't... I gotta go with my gut here. Breeding pool. Get rewarded. All right. Seems great. God, I like Wretched Confluence a lot, but I think it's Breeding Pool here. If if this if Garrick Apex Predator Looter or Wretched Confluence or even Reclamation Sage Table or Forbid I'll be I'll be fine with with a bunch of cards in this pack one two three four five six seven eight so three cards are coming back we'll see is this a deck for Shardless Agent this actually seems pretty good we get Cold Seal Cure Spallower Go for the Throat or Collective Brutality right now also Liliana seems very good here. I think it's probably just Liliana or Night Veil Spectre. Ooh. Apex Predator is probably a better 7 drop just because we can cast him easier. This is also an 8 drop, so. You know. It's Last Hope or Night Veil Spectre? It's probably Last Hope, right? I think it's Liliana here. That was not that was also not an easy pick. Also, Taiga is pretty sweet because you can search for it with Misty Rainforest. Unfortunately, we are not an opposition deck. We have eight creatures in our deck, keep that in mind. I like having Mascarum just because it's literally just crushes several matchups. Edric is fine, but Edric and Opposition are both bad for us because we only have eight creatures right now. I could see taking Taiga because of our Misty Rainforest and we want to cast Nicol Bolas, but I'm pretty sure we just want Massacre Worm for the sideboard because it actually, like, just destroys specific matchups. I kind of like Volrath Stronghold here. I'm not going to play Elves of Do Shadow because we're not going to have a black mana on turn one. Or a green mana on turn one, rather. We also are not going to be Smuggler's Coptering, so I'm pretty just... I'm going to just take this Volrath Stronghold. Underworld Connections. Okay. Eh, Rootbound Crag. All right. If we want to play, if we want to play Nicol Bolas, that's cool. Run out of playables here. Liliana is actually pretty okay here. It's a two three for three with Life Link. Sure. Makeshift Mannequin is actually good for us. Get back a Chupacabra. Get back a uh, Liliana. Yeah, I'll just take Makeshift Mannequin. I like Phyrexian Rager a lot, but... Yes! That's exactly what we wanted, actually. Because now we can cut the Nicol Bolas. Or we can actually... Yeah, we'll just take Negate. I like Negate. A lot. Delver is a card that is practically never playable. I agree with you completely. It's just a real sad card. Yeah, so now we can... We got one cut to make. I feel like this deck is good. I think that we got a good amount of counter spells. We have a good amount of removal. We're doing some cool things with it. Makeshift Mana can probably come out. Liliana Heretical Healer can probably come out. Oh, Edric. Last pick, Edric. Sure. Why not? I guess we actually could cut part the Water Veil. I like part the Water Veil a lot, though, especially because we have Ancient Tomb. But 
What are you gonna do? Alright, you're going here. We could cut part. Keep Liliana. The problem is whenever another non-token creature you control dies, and we don't actually have that many others. I don't think Liliana's that great. Underworld Connections or Makeshift Mannequin we can play, but again, eight creatures. So what are the creatures we're actually going to want to... And Thassa doesn't really count as a creature we're going to want to bring back. Neither does Kiora's Follower. So the only creatures we're going to want to really bring back is like Muldrifter, Chupacabra, maybe Desecration Demon to kill them. Or this guy to bounce something. And Rune Scar Demon, sure, but... Like, I don't think, I don't think Makeshift Mannequin or, like, I like Necromancy because we can kill their Consecrated Sphinx and then just get it back. So it actually works pretty well there. Um, I also like Part the Waterville a lot because we have Kiora, Ashiok, Garrick, and Liliana. So when you're playing a, and Tamiyo. So, like, when you're playing a Planeswalker heavy deck, taking another turn is pretty huge. Which is worth keeping in mind. But, look at all our fixing lands. This is amazing. What a time to be alive. I don't think we're going to play Mute Vault or Volrath Stronghold. We have a lot of color commitments here. So we'll sort by color. We're basically blue black splashing for several green cards. We're going to one forest here. We did also get Breeding Pool, which is nice. Um, so this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sources of blue. And four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven sources of black. Misty's not black right now. So you have... So it's got a nine, eight, five, six, seven, eight, versus three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So eight, nine, and then one. We might not even need a forest, to be honest with you. How many green sources do we have? One, two... Three, four, five. Five for four cards. We don't want to have an early Curious Follower, though. Which is interesting. I feel like we do want one. Also, if they path to exile, we can get a forest. So I think it's actually probably better. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think that's good. Two green fetches and nothing to fetch with them, though? What does that mean? We have a breeding pool. I only have one fetch. We have Misty Rainforest. Misty Rainforest is the only fetch, right? Like, Misty Rainforest, and we can get a breeding pool. So, all right, let's do it. Also, I like having Relic and Massacre Room on the sideboard. Underworld Connections is pretty good for the uh, control matchups. This is a beautiful Sultai boy. Oh, this hand seems good. I'll keep it. Sanji's, no worries, buddy. That is life, my friend. I guess we named black here. We have a single green already, so that's good. Yeah, we're going to name black. Take care of our second black requirement. And then we get to go uh, Trigon Predator next turn, which is pretty good. If we draw any land, we get to play either one of these. Hangerback Walker for one seems pretty good with a uh, Trigon Predator. Yeah, I don't love the Kiora's, Kiora's Follower either, but I don't know. 
I like that as part of our. Oh, I like this because now we just get to kill Hangerback Walker, and uh, they don't get to make an extra, an extra one one. Oh God, oh boy. My excitement is real right now. Yeah, I'll do that. Get rid of it now before it gets too big. Hot tomato. Not tomatoes. Pretty sure we're just tomatoing here. There's more there's more returns on tomato. Like we get to use it every single time. Whereas Mold Drifter, we just get to do it once. Um I don't know. This is a this is a crapshoot. Hard to say what to tap down. Well, they didn't have a second blue, which is nice. So. Oof. Oof. Oh, God. We're doing it, guys. We are doing it. Hi oh Oh, and we win the game. All right, seems good. Whew. Got him. I I don't think we board anything in here because we don't know enough. I could see cutting like the underworld connections is a four drop, so like you'd put it here. I could see cutting the Cure's follower, but like we, I think we have enough green that we could get green on turn one. Or turn two, even. So I'm actually fine without. Man, Trigon, kill your Hangerback Walker. Tamio, tap down your land. Riftwing Cloudscape, bounce your other land. Eh, it felt okay. Wow, deal, keep. All right, there you go. So we can get a, an island with this guy, which is not bad. Don't play anything. Oh, you're gonna play something. Oh, you're gonna play something that makes my Ashiok just fine. That's pretty good. Cold Steel Heart? No Cold Steel Heart. Cold steel, huh? Oh, we're gonna play Ashok when you have one power on board. Love it. I kind of just want to misty into a second blue source so we can dismiss easier. All right, we found that. Is there any benefit to keeping this? We don't have any landfall cards. We don't have any cards that like look at the top card and shuffle it. I guess we just don't have a reason to play it right now. Is the thing. Because, like, if we come down to the end of the game and our, our one life matters, like, who knows? Oh, what do we get? Murful Cluder and Imperial Cluder. Wow, that's poetry. I got a Murful Cluder and Imperial Cluder. Well, the thinning is kind of... I mean, the whole thinning argument is really... Oh, a Smuggler's Chopper. There's a lot of things you're doing right now. We can also go, we can also put a an Imperial Recruiter into play, search for a Chupacabra and kill something. Which is pretty cool. We can also go for the throat something. This guy specifically.
Damn, it's a, a permanent... Con yeah, alright, that's pretty good. I don't think we're putting anything into play. We're just going to actually keep keep Ashiokking. Ashiok the monkey. Ashiok the monkey. Do, 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 do. Are gophers historically violent creatures? That I don't know. We should play land first in case they want to do some nonsense here. We're just going to play Kiora and... Uh, Put it on Smuggler's Copter. What did we hit now? Oh my god. Elder Deep Fiend and a Virtuous Gearhulk and a Rabble Master? Three dudes? Whew. So both of these... Cure starts at two? Gross. Then she just dies? Do we care about that? Oh, God. Why she started at two? What kind of planeswalker just starts at two? What is that about? Whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this because then it keeps you from attacking Ashiok, which is fine. That's weird, dude. If we explore, I'm afraid they play a guy. They hit Ashiok for five and then Kiora for one, which seems just really bad. Whereas now they just kill Kiora. Where's a damnation when you need it? Opposition. Wow. That's gross. Yep. Yep. That's pretty unfortunate. I am a Japanese pop star. Joke's on you. I don't know what to do here. I think we get another blue source, but... We just play Thassa? I'm tempted to just play a Virtuous Gearhulk, but I don't think that does anything. I can see playing Rabble Master just to make a guy. I can also see playing Looter or Recruiter. Or we can just keep exiling. I think we're just exiling. Thrun seems pretty good. You're probably going to want to attack so Thrun doesn't get you next turn. So three, four, five, six, seven. They don't have enough power to kill Ashiok, even if they attack with everything. They can deal six. And then they have very few things to tap down with, so. Oh my god. Sure. Well, now we know we have to uh, deal with opposition. And they still have three guys four guys to tap down our stuff with so that's pretty brutal yeah we're definitely bringing in massacre worm here just always yield to this we're not going to have a response I guess we could kill Siege War Siege Gang Commander, but it seems bad. 
Might as well tap a swamp too. Yep. Yeah, I think we're dead here. Even on board, they have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then they can sack 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game here. I do mean bringing a little hee haw mouth. Look at this. Look at this idiot. Yeah, this guy's definitely coming in. Uh, we also have Negate, Dismiss, and Force of Will. So we, we actually have a good amount of... And Trigon Predator. We have a good amount of answers for... For it. Take out the Kiora's Follower. This hand seems pretty good. Turn three coalition relic. And we also have Riftwing Cloudscape to, to bounce it, so we can actually do a thing once it's in the hand. If we draw another land, I might be tempted to play Riftwing Cloudscape instead of Cold Steel Heart, but. And we did. So I think we just suspend and then play Cold Steel Coalition Relic. Oh, they did multi six, man. They're basically dead. Good call. Good call. More like Merfolk Tutor, am I right? Cause of toots. Flemmy, glad to hear it, buddy. Is it gonna be regular land? Is it uh, an ancient tomb? Ancient tomb would be good, then we can play both. I just want to be your ancient tomb. Can I just draw my card? Just let me draw my card, man. We don't have to fight about it. I just want to draw I just want to draw a card. Just like every young boy. Just wants to draw a card. Not gonna let me? Okay. I understand. Creepy tar pit. Oh, you got that red mana, huh? Wow, that's good, because next turn I was going to Chupacabra you. How lucky. Now my hand is dead. That is a rude card. You're right. I guess we can bounce it and then kill it next turn. And by bounce it, I mean not bounce it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We are one mana away from playing Rune Scarred Demon this turn. So I guess we're not doing that. Just play Cold Steel Heart. We'll say black, I guess. Well, I imagine most people don't know how to spell phlegm. So knowing how to spell phlegm, I feel, has benefited me in this area. Choosing to let this Cold Steel Heart resolve should not take this long. We could also Rune Scar Demon for a Massacre Worm, which would be pretty insane. Which I think we're going to try to do. Maybe we bounce their Botanical Sanctum to keep them off lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure.
Yeah, a big part of my English education was uh, learning how to spell phlegm. Oh my god. Oh boy, this is just getting real good. If we can dodge... If we can dodge opposition, I think we're in good shape. We got a boogerologist over here. <laughs> wow, I really told you not to uh, expose me for my boogerology, buddy. But apparently, you just can't keep can't keep it to yourself, huh? Cast you. Bounce you. Ooh wee. Let's get a black here. Three, four, five, six. Let's get the the deal sealer. Uh, we were, but I wanted to keep them off Botanical Sanctum because now if they play Sanctum, it comes and play Tapped. Um, this is also attempting to do the same thing, so. Oh, boy. Just fingers crossed for no opposition, I guess. I'm going to block here because you clearly want me to, right? Like you're, you're saying block. So I'll block and hopefully you'll deal like you'll Mizzium Mortars or something. Chandra. Sean John. Yeah, this was all part of the plan. I wanted you to tap out. Oh, four more mana. How's it gonna be? Oh man, just keep them. Just keep them. Keep them coming. I mean, killing Chandra and dealing them 10 is still pretty good, having a 6-5 on board. Rabble Master, eh? God, I'm tempted to let you just play that. Oh, I like that they didn't use their mana to exile my Runescar Demon, just in case that's relevant. Oh, this is going to be brutal. This is just a bloodbath. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can part the water veil first. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we just I think we just massacre worm. Having Worm City in play is probably better for us. This is gonna be a massacre. And we're just going to kill Chandra because you don't need to be having no Chandras in play. Yeah, nine mana would also let us play Massacre Worm and Ashiok, but if we got to play Ashiok, part the Water Veil, and then next turn Massacre Worm, I'd be okay with that. So we need to have Rabble Master and one other card. Okay, I think you're dead. Got him. <laughs> Got him. And we did it. All right, sweet. Good deck is good. I like that they just kept playing guys into our mask worm. It's like, hey, I got this mask. I'm going to search for mask worm. And then they're like, 
one 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 three one two one one and you're like okay of course they didn't play that many guys they played one guy and if they played a one three that wouldn't really matter so um i guess my example wasn't great but you get it you get it you saw what happened Oh, it does not reveal. Whenever a card lets you search for any card in your deck, you don't have to reveal it because there are no qualifications to it. So like if it said search for a land, you'd have to reveal it because you have, you're qualifying it as a land, right? Um, if a card lets you search for any card in your deck, like Mastermind's Acquisition, you don't have to reveal. Ashiok has nipples. Can you milk? Uh, let's say them. I don't think Ashiok is a, is a gendered being in the multiverse. And I'm not sure. I, you know, I, I don't know. I've never tried to uh, tr tried to do that. It's a question for another time, Chad. A question for another time. Oh, this hand seems bad. It actually doesn't seem terrible. Yeah, I'll keep it. I'll be greedy. Is it two land hand on the on the draw greedy? I don't know. I feel like it's less greedy now. This is a tough land to play because, like, we want double black for Liliana, but we also want double blue for this, and we want double black for this guy. So if we get a second black, we can play Demon on turn three, which I think is better than holding up Dismiss on turn three. Oh, what a good land to draw. Now we can do everything. Do we just play Demon next turn? And then following turn, keep this miss up? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And next turn, we can Riffling Cloud Skate? Oof. We could have also just played Liliana here. Completely reasonable as well. Oh, you're just going to Swords it? Yeah, that's fine. I'll gain six. That's three Ancient Tomb activations, buddy. Oh, yeah, that's going back to your hand. I do hope we find a way to deal with this, though, because right now it's looking pretty, pretty annoying. Oh, I see. You're just going to replace it with that guy. I understand. Well, then. Can we collect a Brutality, make you discard a card, gain two, and then just reanimate Runescar Demon? I think that seems good. Let's look at your hand. We'll gain two, lose two. Oh, that's a good one. So you have Snapcaster, Medallion, Hero of Bladehold. Your hand's actually very good. So next thing you can just Snapcaster this guy. That's pretty sad. We still get the trigger, though, so that's pretty good. What do we get from this guy? I like Hero's Downfall. Actually, I like Go for the... Uh, Go for the Throw doesn't kill... Yeah, it does. It kills everything. We also just get Force of Will to counter, like, Snapcaster, which is actually probably better. I like that a lot, actually. Let's do that. Like, we can just block here. They're going to Snapcast their Council's Judgment. We can just counter the Snapcaster. I'm a big fan. We only have five mana, though, which is rough. I 
Um, I'm pretty sure we just counter this guy. They can't play the other thing. And I'd rather them not have the two... Actually, I'll let that resolve. And you can play the Council's Judgment because it taps you out. You take a point. And with Liliana, I actually I don't actually care about the Snapcaster Mage. Oh, you're gonna get you're gonna swords it. Okay. Well, we are gonna force of will that. The water veils will be parted, my friend. Or will they? Maybe we go to the dismiss. That seems better, actually. If we draw a land, we can part the water veil, which seems better. So they shouldn't be able to do anything this turn. Because, like, being able to attack for six, part the water veil, attack for another six. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's probably better. I mean, this is 12. It puts them to four. Let's go again. So one, two, three. So we just have it all then. Like we can just do everything. Puts them to four. That seems good. I mean, I'd love to be able to use Liliana twice, <laughs> but... I mean, I think having two blockers and a Liliana on board is pretty good. Especially when we know two of the three cards in their hand. that They can't get rid of one creature, let alone both. Really? I'm pretty sure double blocking is a little risky here. Or is it? Like, did they draw an instant speed removal spell? That's a good question. Maybe we don't block, actually. Maybe we don't care about... Actually, no, I want to block with this guy because then we get back... Uh, we just get it back with Liliana, which is just gas. I don't care about click, really. We have Liliana to kill it if they don't block, and they have to kind of have to block here. Like, now we can get back Cloud Skate. Oh, well, that's pretty good, too. We still just have it all. So they just play, they play like Vendillion Click when they just go Heroes Downfall it? That seems good, right? I just don't want you to block. Can we do that? Paying costs? That was your one draw? Wow. Oh, that's so good. Nah, that actually seems fine. Oh, we just get it back. Oh, this is great, though. This is fantastic. Now we get to kill your Ojitai, too. That's a deal. That's a deal and a half. Yes, sir. 
No, we want to just downfall the blocker so that we can win the game, but they drew Spell Queller, so. All right, sweet. Our deck is great. I'm not sure what we'd actually bring in here. Maybe Relic, just because they have Snapcaster? That's the only thing we saw, though. We saw Spell Queller, too. Don't care about that. I mean, we do. It's annoying. Hero of Blade Hold's problematic, but we have, like... Like, Hero Blade Hold makes tokens. Snapcaster is small. Vendillion Click is small. I wonder if we just want Masquerum in the deck. Relic could be good. I like Negate a lot. Um, I don't think it's better than anything else we have already, but, like... Them having access to, like, Coalition, uh, Council's Judgment, or Swords of Plowshares or something is... A second time is pretty good. I feel like that force of was pretty good. Stop telling me to cut Kiora. It's never happening. Come on, Brandon. Get it together, buddy. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't think I care about that. I think Trigon Predator, we didn't see anything for Trigon Predator, but they're they're blue-white. Like, they have to have something for Trigon Predator to kill, to eat up, to munch on. Like, the only relevant... If, like, if we see more cards for Relic, then I'll bring it in, but as of now, it's just kind of meh. Kiora does draw cards, you maniac. I actually like this hand probably more than I should with a 6-drop and a 7-drop, but I still think it's good, especially with the turn 2 Cold Steel Heart. Hopefully we'll figure out a, a way to name... Oh, Kiora. Hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll draw a land so we can figure out whether to name blue or black, because we need double blue and double black here. Double black being a little more... Uh, a little more close... Oh, is it? I think it's actually the, the Relic still. Or the Cold Steel Heart, rather. Uh, let's say Black. Because any land lets us play Desecration Demon, which is great. Or Kiora, actually. Kiora with only Isamaru on board is pretty good. Oh, I think they missed the land drop. Unless they play a post combat. Oh, they didn't. <gasps> oh my god, everything's coming up Millhouse. Oh my god, it's, I'm feeling tired, but I just want to rock and roll all night and then party every day. I think this game just ended. I think Kiora just ended the game. Target you, old friend. I'm going to cast this guy so we can draw some lands. Can we make Krakens? That's the question. Oh, wow, we did it. And party every day. Don't raise the alarm. They're going to raise the alarm? Oh my god. Why? Why do bad things happen to good people? All my hard work ruined. Here comes Glorious Anthem. You ready? Rude. All right, this is getting a little obnoxious. It's actually very good. So, play you.
We'll do it. We'll do an old two motor. You and you cast you, and we'll kill your this guy. I'll discard a rune, uh, rune scarred demon. Take a gander at your hander. Wrath of God. Don't care. Swords, Council's Judgment. Let's get rid of the Council's Judgment. No damage from you. Kill you. All right. We did it, boys. Any land and we get to go... Activate, activate, part the water rail, activate, activate. Which seems pretty good. Alright, so Gideon, ally of Zendikar, is actually pretty unreasonable here. Especially if you make an emblem. Oh, that's brutal. Can you not do that instead? Yeah, Brumaz does create dudes, but I mean, like, I'd rather take one than three, so. We just had no way to kill them. Him. It, oh! No Gideon emblem. This is great news. And party every day. Both at Lily. Okay. I like it. Give me a land. Okay, we're definitely bringing in Masquerama from now on. Is this, is this coming out yet? Oh my god. It comes out next turn, actually, if we... Uh, get a land, get a land. land, 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 land. <gasps> wow, we're doing it, boys. This is a great, a great combo. Cast you. What do you do? Just bounce. What are we gonna do here? We're gonna attack Gideon, put him down. Just bounce the Brimaz, I think. Force you to use that on your next turn. Oh wow, we can play Demon and Negate. Ooh, that's pretty good. Or we can play Kiora's Follower. Prevent all damage from you. Kill this guy. Demon. And now we are safe. Um, yeah, that's fine. I always yield to that. No, we're getting we're taking Gideon down so you can't emblem. Oh my god. So you know we now have Wrath, Leshnor, and Swords and Brimaz. You have no way to attack. We can make an emblem. I don't want you to do that. But it's the only spell we can actually counter. We can we can counter swords, but I think that's better to not do that. Oh my god, we get to ultimate QR, guys. Uh, QR does prevent getting damage. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to and by this permanent. Oh, we did. We're an idiot. Uh, you're right. Doesn't matter. It's still Kiora. Still Kiora ultimate. Still had all these Kioras. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Uh, is it Octopus or Krakens? It's Krakens, right? Yeah, sweet. I'm just going to kill Gideon anyway, but they're probably going to Swords this guy, which is... You have to Swords, right? Does it matter? Like, we go to we gain six. Give me that 9-9 nine, nine Kraken. All right, so we know you have Eleshnorn and Brimaz and one other card in hand. 
I don't think that's going to be streams of nine nines. Wow, Ultimate Kiora. All right, Kiora is definitely the thumbnail for this match, ladies and gentlemen. I still think Relic is better in this matchup. <laughs> Brandon, I love it, buddy. I love it. I might have to sneeze here. This has went quite well. I, I, I feel like this draft has gone quite well. I think this hand is going to continue that trend. No black for Chupacabra, but Ancient Tomb Lumbering Falls. Like, we have a lot of good cards here. I don't even mind keeping the gate up. Against a blue deck? Deal. Okay, that's not the land we needed, but... All right, he was stuck on two lands. Sure. I, go on. I mean, that's magic, right? Like, I don't know the point, the point of making me feel bad about the victory is. That seems weird. Misty Rainforest cannot get a black source. So that's a pretty weird draw. MTG bot, I love you. I did actually change my opinion of Ancient Tomb. Um... Yeah, part the water rail on turn five with an ancient tomb is pretty good. If we draw dismiss and we can throw out an ancient tomb, that's pretty good too. But yeah, this is a good one. Do not do it. Okay, I get it. I get it, lands. I get it. I, I wish Misty Rainforest got Creeping Tar Pit too. That's the world I want to live in. Next time we can play Ancient Tomb and start attacking with Lumbering Falls. That's a 7 turn clock. And we only take 14. So, that's pretty good, right? Really? Is this how you're going to do me? I'm just going to play this. I did not... Oh, hi, Mark. That's a good question. I actually don't know why I keep drawing the islands. It's probably a misplay on my part. Uh, I would love to attribute it to outside factors, but come on, we all know how that works. Let's get old bleeding pool. Oh, that sounds worse than it is. Or I can just play this guy. One, two, three, four, five. You gonna counter this guy? We know you are. There's no way you're letting my a Riftwing Cloudscape resolve when you have your counter spell up. Give me one swamp. That's all I'm asking for. Look at this guy. Swamp. That's surprisingly good, I think. Let's pretend like we have a thing. Or if they have like Mana Leak. They don't take damage, so that's pretty cool. I am a little concerned about the uh, activation of Colony if they have another land that comes into play untapped, but... What does tap them out for the turn, I guess? I did not. Oh, I like it. They did nothing. Three, four, five. I'm just going to cast this bad boy. Mm 
Guys got a handful of counter spells over here. It's up to you, my boy. There we go. That's a good one. Sure. Any black source would have been great. We could also play an Ashiok there, but you know, no black, no black sources in 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 fifteen cards is pretty normal, I guess. I'm saving your life. Oh, a tundra! How nice. Yep. On the bright side, if they um, if we draw a black source, we can go Ashiok, part the Water Veil vale, Ashiok, which is pretty good. God, one removal spell, dude. One removal spell would have been amazing there. Where were you recently? Maybe we just have to take another turn here. Like, having no black mana is utterly destroying us right now. Oh, come on, dude. And we have no plays. This is so frustrating. And once we get a black mana source, we can play one of two cards that don't really do anything on this board anymore. Like, this is pretty rough. Their, their graveyard is also Miscalculation Jace Counterspell Cryptic Command, which is pretty good. Uh, I think we have like nine black sources in the deck. So like 25% of the deck is black sources. Approach of the Second Sun. Oh, look who it is. Like, Ashiok just dies here because you don't have two black, so. Alright, so now they have... Um... Uh, six, five, four, three, two, approach. Okay. So they draw their card. They have six cards until they approach. Yeah, we're definitely trying to get the sun with the Ashiok. I want to go for the throat this guy, but I really want to get the colonnade. I think we just have to kill this dude. It's just dealing us too much damage. And assume they don't have a counterspell in the five cards. They probably do. Hardcast Force of Will or Exile for Force of Will. That is the question. Neither. Resolves. This guy has to get countered, right? You have five car. Oh, no counter, huh? All right. So three, we had a dungeon geist. So we lost six, five, and four. Ah, okay. Well, you're just going to win then. You got it. Uh, approach is the seventh card, which is why I don't have a one here. So we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then approach. That's seven cards.
This is an Underworld Connections matchup, if I ever saw one. Everything else seems good. Here, Collector Battalion seems great. Negate seems great. Dismiss and Force of Will seem great. Trigon Predator. I'm going to take you out. We have a lot of blockers. Curious Follower seems fine if we can uh, manage to untap a thing. Like, it's just another Cold Steel Heart. Yeah, this hand seems great. Turn to Kiora. Yeah, boy. No, turn three Kiora. I'm dumb. It's still very good. Oh, boy. Turn three everything. Turn three all the things, I guess. Well, they have Counterspell and Miscalculation, so I don't think we're actually going to run any of these things out there. So next turn we can actually play Ashiok and keep up two for Misdirection, if they have that. Also, just play the Thassa. Seems good. Sure. Well, I'm pretty sure with seven counters, seven cards in their hand, they already had counters. We're just going to slowly trickle things out, though. Okay, that's actually good, because that limits the amount of counters you have. Wow. David, thank you so much, buddy. I will keep this on top, just because we want land here. We also have six mana, so we can uh, presumably play... No, nope, we can't. Darn it. So they have to have specifically counterspell because we can play around misdirection here. Miscalculation. I always call it misdirection. It's miscalculation. All right, that's pretty good. All right, I'm liking it. Any untapped land next turn means we can play three mana Planeswalker and keep up Dismiss, which is pretty strong. You got it. Untap land. We actually want a black source here so we can Ashiok and keep up Dismiss. I guess we don't care if, like, this guy... Yeah, that's actually fine. We'll keep that. Let's go black, blue, green. Oh, we hit a Mana War and a Geist of St. Traft. That's pretty good. And our Thass is on three. Oof. And our Kiora is on four.
Uh, donations are probably better for me, I think. Oh, and we exiled a negate? Gas. And you're going to the face? More gas. All the gas in the world. Wow, and the gate was a good one too. That's a that's a solid counter spell. What are you doing? Don't care about that. Oh, discarded Maze of Ith. Seems reasonable considering our threats right now. Uh, there's a link to regular donations in my Twitch profile. There's also one... Um, MTGBot also posts one every now and then. Uh, I don't care about search for S content. We're not going to waste a dismiss on a search for S content. Uh, one, two, three. That's probably dismissible. Especially because we want to hit another black so we can play Liliana, kill the looter. Do all the things that we want to do. And that was really good. Bottom. Oh, we did it, but... Did we just Mana War bounce one of your guys? That feels good. That second black would have been the last turn, but also Keith Thassa is at four, so that's pretty good. I have no complaints about that. What do you got here? What do you what do you what do you what are you flipping into the graveyard or putting in your hand? Also, this deck seems their deck seems a lot more likely to get devotion, so I don't really need a five five indestructible un unblockable creature coming at us. I don't know. Kraken's incoming with negate seems pretty good. Uh, actually, I don't care about this one. Because even if we counter... the Actually, counter goes to the graveyard, right? So, sure. So now you have to have, like, Snapcaster and nine mana. All right. Uh, you can bottom. I don't need that guy. It's going to be a land, but... Oh, it's going to be Collective Brutality. Hmm. I mean, we're just going to make an emblem here. Let's be real. What do we get? Cryptic Command. That's pretty good. All right, we're just going to actually make a Liliana. Kill this guy. And we can actually attack here, which is nice. Got him. And nine nines. Five, six, seven. You're going to flip this, so eight. So if you actually have Snapcaster in hand, you just go Snapcaster Approach, which is actually pretty bad. That loses us the game. Okay, they didn't do that. That is good. So nine. Oh, we just win the game. All right. I like it. I guess uh, Thassa Emblem is pretty good. Turn, turn one blood moon. How are you feeling about uh, how you feeling about Thassa, buddy? Tell me about tell me about your Thassa feelings, buddy. Does approach say cast from hand? Oh, it might. Cast from your hand. Good call. Never mind. Snapcaster doesn't get the job done. Um, I think we're actually good. I don't really care about any of the creatures here. Like, we still didn't see much for Trigon Predator. We saw Search for Ezkanta, I guess. But that was pretty much it. 
I don't mind Edric, but we don't really have a lot of creatures that are attacking, as you can see from that last game. So I think we're just going to submit like this. Oh my god, am I calling Kior Thassa? That's really sad. Thassa really sad, you might say. This hand is great if there's another land somewhere. Oh god, it's so greedy if there's not, though. Oh, this is just worse. Sure. Put that on the bottom. I like it a lot, but come on, we can't do it. Alright, so we're at 6 or at 7. It's reasonable. Mm, we'll start with old Creeper. Looter? It's always Looter, man. Oh, it's Vryn's Prodigy. Yeah, I don't feel good about our pressure this game. This game feels like it's just worse than last game. Which is weird. It's a weird thing you can tell that on, like, turn three, right? You're like, nope, not going to do it this turn. Also, our opponent is now in the chat, so that's cool. Not sure uh, the reason for that, but all right. Well, unfortunately, we're going to do one of these jobbies because well, I guess we can't talk about plays anymore because, you know, that's just sad. I don't know. Like, so here's the thing. You're either in the chat. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get opening the stream when you're playing against someone, right? Some people are like, oh, I just wanted to see if you were streaming or whatever. But you don't have to go into the channel. You can just see them streaming on the magic page. Or once you see them streaming, you can just leave, right? So it doesn't make any sense to, like, unless you're actually ghosting, it doesn't really make any sense. That was a good draw. All right, so... Uh yep, unfortunate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're just way too aggressive for us. They're dealing nine. Yeah, that's pretty much game. I guess we can block a Geist of St. Traft. Go to seven instead. Well, we didn't board in. Um, we didn't board in Massacre Worm because we had no reason to in the based on the past two games. Turn on Blood Moon. Have a good night, buddy.
Oh, boy. Like, I always try to give the benefit of the doubt. Like, I'm always like, you know, maybe they just maybe they just were checking, but it never makes sense that you're in the chat. Like, it never makes sense. It just feels like super poor form. Oof, bottom. And yeah, that's pretty bad. All right, that's going to be game. Uh, we have nothing we can do. Next turn, they can just go whatever. Doesn't even matter. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, you guys have been great. Had a good time. Um, I'll see you guys later this weekend. I'm sure I'm going to stream some Modern on Sunday. So if you guys want to hang out for that... Feel free to like or subscribe. Subscribe or follow. Um, whatever you got to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later.